Hey guys, it's Vandy as well, back again with another card fight, Vanguard, as well as the Vandy weekly review. So if you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't to the Patreon. And let's get one started. Today, we have a bunch more Shaman King reviews, but also, we have three new cards for Gravidia, which seem all very interesting. So, let's go ahead and get this started. And I'm definitely not breaking the fourth wall by saying that I'm recording this a day earlier than we get Gravidia cards. I only know this because I read the Busher Road stream. I definitely am not recording from the past right now and uploading this a day later. Uh, what, what are you all talking about? Let's get on to the video. <clears throat> First up, we have our Shaman King cards as usual. Okay, no offense to anyone who likes Shaman King, but... I am bored of the Shaman King cards, and the second we get to set four, mainly because there are evolutions in set four, I will be so happy. I have nothing against Shaman King. I just want to get to set four. They they teased me with set four. They showed me the evolution. They're dangling the grapes in front of my face while I'm unable to eat them. I will have my set four. Anyways, Tayo family head Tayo Yun, 13k, grade 3, twin drive persona ride. Auto one placed on rear, counter boss 2, put up to 4 Aunt Fa Tayo family ancestral spirit from your deck into your soul. So, mandatory, not mandatory, but um, the the choice soul charge of 4, and it's selective soul, soul charge of 4. Eh. Okay, interesting. Very. I like how it specifies a specific unit, but. Sure. What does that card do? Tile Family Assessor Spirit, the thing you search out with that boy. Grade 1 boost, AK base, 5k shield, continues to be up to 16 cards in this deck. So they just took that from Meteors and Act Rear. Put this to Soul. Choose choose a card from your drop zone and put it to Soul. Um, so it has to be on Rear to use the skill, which shoves it to Soul to get another Soul card. But then this sends them to Soul? Did one of the grade twos or threes have the ability to call stuff from soul and I'm just not remembering it or D what? What is the point of this? Like, if they're randomly going to give these guys a mega blast, then so be it. But <laughs> at least makes sense with the mega blast. Like, I know one of the cards is called Tyo Ren. Is this meant to be for that deck? Because I don't think this deck that deck needs this. What is the point of this? Am I just forgetting a card that exists that can take good care of these two? Because if there isn't, I'm just being stupid. Then that's just how it is. But I feel like I'm in the right for once, which is a strange thing. Is it opposite day? Is the world on fire? Is the apocalypse coming? Is Ragnarok about to arrive? Um, I don't know. Hopefully I'm in the wrong here. If not, then the world might be ending and the people who called it are in the right and we should all apologize for ridiculing them. But sure, 10... 15, 16, 20, whatever other number they decided to throw in this, sure. Next up we have Kinoshi, AK base, 5 grade 1 boost, 5 kishu. I don't know why, but I see the thing that he's holding as a fish and not what I think is a weapon. Continues to rear, this unit gets plus 5k power. So automatically this thing's a 13k booster size swinger, which is really good. But if you do not have a vanguard with shaman, if you do not have a shaman vanguard with a ren in its card name, in the same column as it cannot attack or boost. So either you have the grade 1 of the ride line, or you have the grade 3 or the grade 2. Basically, this thing's useless on its own. So, okay? Sure? 2? 3? If you're running an all Ren deck, then yeah, it shouldn't be much of a problem. But otherwise, um, don't really want to take that chance. Next up, we have Spirit of the Fastest Horse in History, Kokuto. That is a beautiful-ass horse. 8k base, grade 1, boost, 5k shield, auto rear. When this unit boosts a unit with Tyro Ren or base in its card name, your opponent does not have any rear guards in the front row. Until end of battle, this unit gets plus 10. So, if they have no front rear guards, which you can easily get rid of with Tyro Ren, it's, a 20, it's an 18k booster. So, all around, I like that card. Seems really nice. I'd give it a 3 of, 4 of, maybe. <clears throat> Next up, we have High Moral Standards Tao Jun, 10k base, 5k shield, grade 2 with intercept, act rear, counter blast 1, arrest this unit, choose one of your Kiyoshi Lee Pryron until end of turn, it gets plus 15, and if you do not have a Kiyoshi Lee Pryron on rear, call one from drop zone to rear. So basically, I like these cards that they're introducing into these. I like how all like the crossover decks, or whatever you're going to call them, or call collab decks, whatever they are, I like how they all introduce mechanics on something, and then they have ways to support it, unlike in regular D series where they make a deck and yeah they'll support it but they don't go like really weird ways to do it or like they don't give you a chance to pull it off they just kind of let it happen on its own like what i mean by that is for example nirvana okay yeah you get trickstar back 
but then you have no real way to get your overdresses back if they hit drop zone, or at least not yet. But she give us one, and I'll stop complaining about this. But until then, I'm going to keep complaining about this, that we don't have a way to get overdress units back. But this, and the cards that have come out of Shaman King that I've noticed, is that the combo cards, they either call... They either give pluses to the cards that are part of the combo, or they call the combo cards from drop zone. So, if, like, if you don't have it. So, all around, this is really good. So, I like this. Three of in the Kyoshi Ky Lee prior one combo. And speaking of prior one, tank AK base grade one boost five kit shield. All to rear when you play in order, normal order until end of turn, this unit gets plus five. Okay, and they're I was going to compliment them for making a really good combo card. And then they restricted this to orders. Now, it's fine and all, because there is a grade 3 that allows you to play two orders, so it's an 18k. No, yeah, it's a 13k. But, no, sorry. It's an 18k. I was right the first time. Followed by this, and makes it a 33k. I find it weird, though, that the grade 1 is the important one, and the grade 2 is the support. Especially because you might want to have the grade 2 in the front row for intercepting purposes. So why you would rest the grade 2... When you kind of want to swing with the grade one is beyond me because that's a 30k 33k swinger right there a 33k booster i don't know it, it's weird um like four of three of i guess next up we have student of the Asar asakura family tamura tamio i'm never gonna get these names right grade two intercept 5k shield uh, 9k base act rear breast to rear guard with ponichi or konichi in its card name that is not how you say those look at the top card of your deck and put it at the top so you just Okay, it's something. It's something. I'm not going to complain about that one because it's, it's rest one of the two rear guards and then you get a free look at the top. This is something they could give to Hexa Orb and I would be really fine with it. The reason why I question it here is just because it feels out of place. I'm not saying it's a bad skill, it just feels really out of place because I have yet to see any other card that has remotely involved with deck stacking skills from this um, collab. So. Yeah, if they gave this to Hexorb, I would say that's a really good skill. And even now, it's a good skill. It just feels really out of place. And then Auto Rear. When it attacks, you the top card of your deck. If anything, if it is anything other than Trigger Unit, to end of battle, this gets plus 5. Okay, they stole that from Omegas. They, I think, I know Omegas had a similar effect. They stole that straight from Omegas. Like, I don't think it relied on Trigger. I think it was, if you call the top card of your deck, if you call it right, it gets plus 5. Or, like, if it's Omegas, it gets plus 5. Either way, they stole it from something, so... I don't know why. This feels so out of place. That's the other thing I hate about collab decks. They take skills from things that could be a part of, like, the decks that get support most of the time, like, you know, main series decks, and that would make sense because they are really good support, but they feel so out of place of where they put them. That is my opinion on this. Like, even if it was just rest two rear guards, I would still consider it shoving into Hexa Orb just because it's a free look at the top card, so... I don't know. It's, it's still good, though, so four of, but... It just feels weirdly out of place. Next up, we have Mischievous Ponichi. 5k base, grade 1 with boost, 5k shield, auto when it's placed on rear from hand. Choose a mis Mischievous Kochi from your drop zone and call it to rear. You may be asking what that is. It is literally the exact same thing, but instead of calling Konochi from drop, it calls Ponchi instead. They literally just copied and pasted their skills and then just swapped their names. That's what they did. I guess they're fine, because they also give you fodder for this, but, like, was this their attempt to copy the main in D? Because <laughs> they happen to have both 5k bases. I mean, if you really wanted these that badly, they could have just reprinted the main. I mean, not reprinted, but, like, redone the main for D series. And, yeah, depending on what occurs and depending on how they made the main, it might make it to the point where someone might hit the ban list. Now that I think about it, does D-Series have a ban list yet? Now I'm curious. But, yeah, it, it, this one just feels like a shittier name <laughs> to me. Once more, it feels like they just stole this from something. I know they didn't steal it from anything, but it feels like they just kind of made a worse name and then shoved it onto two different cards that require each other to be useful. So, if you're going to run this, you might as well run these two at three. No other reason to, though. Next up, we have Sealed Blaze Dragon Usal. I mean, there's also a reason that you can just call one and then it calls the other just to get more rear guards faster and makes discard fodder useful, which, and it does it for free. So I guess that's one thing, but also, eh. Like, I'm not going to say they're bad cards, but I'm not going to say they're good cards either. 
Next up, we have Seal Blaze Dragon Usala. Grade 3, Twin Drive, Persona Right, 13k base. Auto when it's placed on rear, counter blast 1, choose a arms order from your drop zone and bounce it to hand. So, a way to recycle the sword. This is a way to recycle the sword. Like, if you've seen my game with against Zorg, I believe it was, I sacked the shield during game 1 just because I needed the soul. Also, because I was trying to filter out the sword and I want to call grade ones from drop for free. So, if you have to do that like I did, this is a way to get the shield back. Honestly, though, use it to get the sword. If you run this at all, that is. Because I forgot which one it costs the counter blast. I think it's the shield that costs the counter blast. The shield costs the counter blast to equip, and the sword costs two counter blasts to use. So, basically, you're playing three counter blasts. Usala, in my opinion, doesn't seem worth it. If you think you need that, run it. Now here's my thing though about this, for my test playing, it is never a problem of it getting in drop, it's a problem of getting it in my hand in the first place. Cause if it hits drop, that is one thing entirely, I really don't care if it hits drop because I probably put it there on my own free will. If it hits, but I can't do anything with it if it's in deck, now if this was a search for the deck for it, then yeah I would say I consider running it. In my opinion, no, cause I've never had the problem where it's just been stuck in drop and I've ran out of them. I've always had the problem of it's ended up in deck and it won't come out. So. If you run this two of, in my opinion, I'm not going to run it though. Next up we have Kami of the Sun and Justice Samash, AK base, 5k shield, great on with boost. Auto rear, when this unit boosts a unit with Iron Maiden Jen Joan, John, in this card name, put a card from your hand into soul. Your opponent chooses a card from their hand and discards it. If they did not, you choose two of your opponent's rear guards and murder them, and then this unit gets plus 10 for the battle. So, either they sack a hand card, or... They lose two rear guards, and this unit's an 18k booster. Okay. That does not seem like a fair trade. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously, regardless, even if it was just sack two or gets the plus 10k, you would still choose to discard over it, because unless that card's a PG, it's not going to make a difference. Actually, you know, it would be better to keep the... It'd be better to discard it because then you know it's easier to block and you're not losing as much. But this now takes a 10. So it's an 18k booster followed by two things die. Only for the cost that it has to boost a specific unit and shove any hand card to soul. Sure. I'm... I don't know where to put this in my mind, where is it just stupidly good minus the fact it has to be on the field with another unit to be useful, or is it just weird because they gave it such a skill that it shouldn't belong to a grade one, or in my mind shouldn't belong to a grade one of that cost because it's only shove a hand card so you're not losing anything compared to them. They're losing either a hand card equal amount to yours or they're losing half their field followed by a 10k to the booster so I guess four I mean it's a four of yeah I'm just questioning their logic on this one and then we have our last two cards before I break the fourth wall and come back the day after to discuss the Gravidea cards and whatever else gets released on Tuesday Shaman Asurka Yo AK base 5k shield grade boost which finally we get the ride line for the uh, Shakura line despite the fact they came first we finally get them auto when this unit is placed on van by riding from Ashoka Yo search your deck for up to one legendary samurai Adi Damura that is not how you say it call it to back row center and shuffle your deck is that what all of them do none of, okay not all of them I know some of them don't but like half of them I know have that effect where you ride them on top of the grade zero and then you call the main support car to the back center. Why? Just why? Either way, really cool. I mean, you, you can also see um, the grade one's background art in the car that he's supposed to call. So, unfortunately, like all the other ones are it's useless on rear, so because it literally has no skills, so one of in the ride deck. Battle of Fate Asuka Yo, the last card. 10k base, 5k shield, grade two with intercept. Out of van when it's boosted by a unit with Ademaru, it's card name. Counter boss one, draw a card. This unit gets plus five for the battle. And then continues weird during the turn, it gets plus two. So the turn is a plus twos have happened. And when it's boosted, it becomes at least a 23. So on its own, it's a 15k swing if it's boosted. So if we don't count the boost power. So I think the booster has 8k, so it's a 23k swinger. Okay, you get a draw out of it. I'll give it that one. I'll give it that one. I say one of in the right deck, obviously, and then 
maybe two of in the main deck? Maybe. If you want to run it, run it at two. I don't, or if, like, if you have a space for one of tech, screw it. Like, obviously you don't pick this unless you think you need that one grade one, even if it's vanilla more than you need this. But honestly, you'd probably be better off with one of these two fuckers. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. If you're only running one of them, then you're better off with this one, because it's used without the other one. So, yeah. And let's continue with the Gravidia cards that I definitely knew about earlier. And I'm definitely not recording this the day they get revealed. Definitely not. Definitely not. Anyways, on to our main cards. We have a Shaman King of Dowsing Agent Lysaraja Delphiel. That is not his name, but I can't say it. Grade 2, Intercept, 5k, Shield, 10k, Base. Auto, when it's placed on rear, counter boss 1, search your deck up to 1, Poppy Flower Spirit, Morphine. Call to rear in the same calm as it in shuffle your deck, and auto rear. When attacks a Vanguard, look at the top card of your deck, put it at the top or bottom. More deck stackers. Once more. Why? Like, we don't need these. We really don't need these deck stackers. I'm not even, like, joking, because there's no line that requires them. Now, if they give us... A, if they gave us a card that did this, or, like, that helped with deck stacking, that was an angry three, most likely, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, it makes sense, because there's a deck that focuses on it. This is just random ways to revive old deck, mechan uh, deck mechanics not in the main series, which I'm fine with, but then also when these decks are restricted from English, I know Token Rainbow's coming to English, thankfully, I'm not so sure if this one's coming to English, it kind of just feels like unfair, because Japanese is getting an exclusive thing that we that us English should be able to have to. That's more of my other thing with it, but it's still a good card regardless, because you get an extra call, so it's fine. And a free top deck look. Next up, we have Palpy Flower Spirit Morphine. Grade 1 boost, 5k shield, 6k base. Auto ones placed on real for the top card of your deck until end of turn, it gets plus 2. So it's an 8k base, and you get to stack the deck. I mean, you get to look at it. You don't have to, you can't put it to bottom or put it anywhere else. It goes right back to top, but that's still good, I guess. And it continues rear. If you have a unit with this thing in its card name, Lessering a Death Deal in this card name, in the same column as it, all units in the same column as this unit cannot be chosen by your opponent's card's abilities. So, this thing included, they can't really kill these, or prison them, or just murder them. They have to swing into them to kill them. So, all around, okay card. I like how they're doing the idea with combo cards, except my big, big issue with the combo cards is they are only support cards, and they are filler space. Now, if they give us this, in, and I know I keep bringing this up, if they give us this in one of the main series decks, and the reason why I'm saying this is because main series gets more support all around than what these set decks do, and they're actually accessible to, you know, English, and I want to get these cards, then if they give it to a main series deck, then they will end up getting more support all around more often, and it would be a fun little thing to do. With like, see a grade 3 that comes with the grade 2 that sees a combo with the grade 1 that is not a goddamn rearguard skill. Because I can think of so many times in V they had the potential to do it, and then they just flopped it to a rearguard skill. So I really hope that they make one for the main series ones. If they don't, it's not a big deal. I want to see it. I don't know if anyone else wants to see it, it's just how it is sometimes. But these things are still interesting, they're still really good, I give them a 3 of or 4 of. Next up we have our Gravidia cards, and our only other cards, which are all 3. Falling Hellhazard! Another Meteor! Grade 2, Meteor. I don't know why I said that in disappointment, we only had one Meteor so far. So the interesting thing about this one is, I'm gonna go, go ahead and spoil this for you while you're trying to read the card while I'm talking. They don't, this one doesn't have the, you can have it up to 16. Which is interesting. And my opinion on this, and I've read it this morning and I've been thinking about it all day, I don't like this card. I, I find it a meh. I like the other one better, but let's go ahead and talk about this one. Continuous, when you, it's still set order by the way, when you would count the number of meteorites in your order zone, put from your order zone to drop zone for the cost of your Vanguard's ability, it counts as two. Okay, so you know Gravity and Nordlinger now only requires three orders if two of them are this. And auto, when it's put from order, from drop into order zone, Sorry, when it's put into your drop zone from your order zone, bind it, choose an opponent's rear guard, and kill it. Okay, now here's my thing about this. One, it has nothing to do with soul. And the next two Gravidia cards both have soul soul blasting abilities. The old meteorite gives you soul, followed by every other, almost every other card in Gravidia's support line requires soul. What does this one not do? Give you soul. And to further note, you gotta bind this from drop and kill an opponent's rear guard. 
which I'm not saying is the bad thing about it, because I mean, in my opinion, it kind of is, because the other one only has to go to drop for it to go off, while literally one of the cards we got today shuffles your orders back to deck from drop, which is something we needed. And then they give us this, where you bind it, and it's a mandatory skill. It's not a if, it is not a, it's a when skill, but it's not a may skill. You have to bind it. Why, Bushy? Why? Literally, the, in my opinion, the only reason to run this is just to get the, it counts as two meteorites. That is the only reason I can see you running this, because that second ability, no. I have died to meteors plenty of times. I have played meteors many of times. I've learned no to this. Just flat out no, especially with the support cards they gave us. I see reasons to run it, I really do, but I do not see reasons to run this at like more than two of, because it's not worth it. I like its art so much, and that's the thing. I feel like this is wasted potential. I like the goddamn art so much, but that skill, ah, oh, you wasted it, Bushy. Why? You wasted the art. You could have given it to the other one. Why did you do this to me? I mean, yeah, it's a rare, I guess, but I mean, it's a common. No, it is a rare. What was the other one? Was it a rare too? Because if it was also a rare, then they literally wasted this. Like, there's no reason. But anyways, onto Gravity Ashurgo. 10k base, 5k shield, grade 2 with intercept, act rear once per turn, still bust 2. Choose up to 5 order, so choose up to 5 meteorite cards from your drop zone, bounce them deck and shuffle it. Oh, my point has been proven. This literally refunds the cost of Nordlinger's entire ability, and it requires soul. Two of them. Mmm, where's your soul charging hell hazard? And if you return one or more cards, it gets plus five. If you return three or more, it gets another plus five. If you return five or more, it gets another plus five. So if you return five, it gets plus 15. So, really nice. I like this card. Amazing. Four of. Three of if you maybe think you might have a bit too much soul blast. Next up, we have Gravidia Baku Birato, 13k base, greatly to enjoy Persona Red. Now, I was really into this thing until I saw it had a grade three. And I kind of like the original one, or at least my build, where I didn't run grade 3s to add more shield. But I have read this thing's ability. I'm consider running it, because it really looks, it does look really cool, in my opinion. And I really like that ability, so we'll think about it. And then auto, when it's placed on rear, soul boss, one, choose a meteorite from your drop zone, put it to your order zone. Oh, a card that can place a meteorite from drop when it's summoned. Oh, where was hazard when this happened? Bushy, did you think before you put that skill on it? Why bind? There is literally no card in Brandgate right now that can get stuff out of bind unless there is something I'm forgetting. But I am pretty sure I'm in the right for once. Ragnarok may be occurring at this very moment. Meteorites may be prepared to rain down from the heavens and Zeus may be ready to strike me with his almighty lightning. But the important part about this is I have a point. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, continuous rear during your turn. If your opponent's rear goes retired, it gets plus five. If three or more retired, it gets a crit. So 18k with a double crit. Pretty nice all around. I like this thing. I am considering running it, running it just because you can get that order stuff back from drop and it has the extra crit pressure. So if you don't drive check your crits and get double of them from it, it still has purpose. I'm giving it a three of. This one I'm giving a four of. This one I'm brutally strangling with my fists, but I will give it a two of in non-biased opinion and as i say that i am definitely not just plotting how to make sure this never sets foot in another brand gate deck ever again i love the art so much and i understand the second skill but why the hell bind from drop and then the other two cards help orders that are in drop bushy come on people get your get your head in the game come on come on screw your heads together Three heads is better than one unless they're all on the same head. Come on, split them up. Think together. Work together. Don't be one. Anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I I'm on a rant about this one still, but I really I kind of I ah, let me rephrase that. I want to hear your guys' opinions on this. What do you do? You like the new Gravidia cards? Do you not like the new Gravidia cards? I honestly like all of them, minus Hell Hazard because of that one goddamn bind part which is mandatory because it does not say may bushy the hell <laughs> either way these are all very interesting i hope you guys like the shaman king cards too i prefer if they were in english too but um that's not gonna happen so i'll see you all on this one don't forget to like comment subscribe join the patreon join discord and don't forget to stand up your vanguards